the media has previously had running battles with the police, especially during demonstrations, and consequently, the media has depicted police as brutal, though in most cases, it might be accidental. But most of the incidents, according to police, have been unintentional, as explained. We call for partnership. We call for trust for We call for cooperation. We always call for forgiveness. We have a we have seen many of them being accused by even their seniors that it is for us are good, but the bad ones are the, the, the junior officers. But we do not see them being proactive in influencing change within uh, the, 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 the junior officers. Now, the police force together with the media have agreed to collaborate in an effort to change the perception the public has of the two institutions' relationship. While closing a dialogue between police and the media, the commander Kampala Metropolitan Haruna Isa Abidye has called upon both institutions to act professionally while on duty. Especially the police to understand the role of journalists, the role of the media, because like I said, that the media complements policy. But it can only complement policy if it is using informative language, if it is uh, giving guidelines for improvement or crime mapping, like that. The dialogue, sponsored by John Paul II Justice and Peace Center, is aimed at strengthening the collaboration between the police and the media to efficiently be accountable to the public. Michael Jordan Lukomwa, UBC News.